Hey guys, it's Chris at Highland Guitars and you're watching another one of my YouTube guitar building videos. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I hope that by the end of this video, I'll have earned the honor and privilege of your subscription. Okay, so in today's video, as the title would indicate, I wanna talk a little bit about artificial intelligence, which is probably more commonly known as AI. We've all heard the terms. Uh, it's been in the news a lot lately. It's having an effect of really shaking up the world that we live in. It's starting to have an impact in just about every facet of society. Well, the question I have is, how is artificial intelligence, AI, affecting our passion for building electric guitars? This all came about the other day when I got a question posted on one of my videos from a viewer. And in that video, I had shown off a piece of Bolivian rosewood that I'm going to use as a fretboard on one of my upcoming guitar builds. The viewer wanted to know, how can you tell the difference between Bolivian rosewood and Brazilian rosewood? Well, the minute I read that question, I knew that the answer was going to be very complicated because the art and science of identifying wood is somewhat controversial. Because in truth, identifying wood can be very difficult to do. Normally, we identify trees, and we can do that by looking at the bark and the leaves. And we can tell right away, not only the genus, but the species as well. But once the wood is cut into slabs of lumber, it becomes much more difficult to do that. So I knew that in order to answer this question in an adequate way, it was going to take a considerable amount of time to compose that question. And because of the number of questions I get every day from viewers, I just didn't really have the time to devote to give the kind of answer that I felt that question deserved. So what I did was... I copied the question and I pasted it into ChatGPT, which is probably one of the most popular artificial intelligence platforms that's out there right now. There's others that are coming in and we're constantly seeing stories about them on the news, but everyone seems to know ChatGPT and it's been around and it's been um, tweaked and, and revised on a frequent basis since its introduction. Once I pasted that question in and hit return, I had a very thorough, complete, and detailed answer within about two seconds, which is a tiny fraction of the amount of time that it would have taken me to compose the, the answer myself. Well, before I could actually accept that response, I had to read it and make sure that I agreed with it because again, we're relying on artificial intelligence here and there's no telling how accurate it may or may not be. So I read the response and I was rather impressed with how accurate the response was. It was essentially exactly what I would have written as a response. Furthermore, the grammar, spelling, and punctuation was perfect. So all I had to do was copy that response and paste it in as my response to that viewer's question. Now, to be honest, what I did was I prefaced it by saying, this is from ChatGPT. And then I followed that with the response. Because I think it's important for my viewers to know if the response I'm giving is actually coming from me or from artificial intelligence. That's only fair. Now, in truth, I don't think I'll be using ChatGPT all that much. It's just going to be on those occasions where I think the response requires detail that I don't have time to create myself. Most of my responses to almost all the questions that I get aren't that complicated. Furthermore, a lot of the questions that you provide are such questions that I think it would be difficult for ChatGPT to understand what it is we're talking about. And as a result, I think that, that artificial intelligence may not be suitable for answering all those questions. Now, obviously, what I'm talking about here 
is how AI has affected me and my YouTube channel about building guitars. But is AI uh, positioned to where it might affect you as you make guitars? It depends. A lot of you I know build guitars using um, what I like to call the old school techniques. That's how I started building guitars. Hey guys, if you're enjoying this video, I would encourage you to click the thumbs up button down below. Do it right now. It's a great way to show my channel support and it doesn't cost you anything. But if you'd like to take your support to the next level, you can visit my eGuitar Plans web store or my Highland Guitars merch store. There's links in the description below. And any purchase you make there is going to help support this channel so that I can keep making guitar building videos and sharing my knowledge and experience with you. You can also click the thanks button down below and leave a tip in the amount that you think is fair. But if you want to get the most out of my channel, I would encourage you to click the join button down below and consider becoming a member. As a member, you're going to have access to videos just like the one you're watching, but with a lot more information and detail, and best of all, no ads. Now let's get back to the video. I would sit down with a piece of paper and I would sketch out an idea for a sh design of a guitar, the shapes, uh, etc. Once I was happy with that, I would then scale it up to a full size, full scale drawing, which I would do on a big sheet of paper with T-square, um, rulers, French curves, compasses, all those tools to create the full size drawing. Then I would use that drawing to make templates. And then I would use those templates to cut out the shape of the guitar body and the, the neck and fretboard. A lot of that work was done using some fairly crude tools. I remember the first couple of guitar bodies I cut out, I was using a jigsaw, which is a nightmare to use for cutting out guitar bodies. I then stepped up to a bandsaw, and I started adding other tools like a router, and I already had a drill press. But I started doing what I would call power-assisted hand building. And I did that for probably about almost, I would say about 12 years. Then I started, and, and actually during that 12 year span, I started to incorporate modern technology. I began to use my computer to design the guitars rather than sketching it out on paper. And that allowed me to speed up the process dramatically and it opened up a lot of doors for creativity. Then, I added a CNC machine and I started using CNC technology to build my guitars and I've never looked back. Um, I know a lot of folks are not necessarily um, thrilled with the idea of using CNC technology, but I find that it works really well for me. Flash forward several years and I am still relying extensively on CAD CAM software and my CNC machine to build my guitars. I thoroughly enjoy doing it that way. Now, in the beginning, a lot of folks complained about my use of CNC technology, but as time has passed, those criticism and complaints have gone away because I think people are starting to realize CNC is not going away. In fact, it's growing in its affordability and its capacity for what we do, and it's allowing folks to do some um, absolutely incredible, extraordinary things when it comes to building guitars. They can do fretboard inlays that are just absolutely phenomenal. They can cut and carve shapes for the guitars and um, all sorts of different designs that were very difficult, if not almost impossible, to do using traditional techniques. However, if you're using modern computer technology, whether it's to design your guitars or to control a CNC machine that you're using to build guitars, you are using artificial intelligence, whether directly or indirectly. When I say directly, a lot of the software that I use and that I know many of you out there are using is either made using artificial intelligence to help create, generate the code, or it has artificial intelligence built into the software to improve and enhance the features that the software offers. Same thing is true with CNC technology. Artificial intelligence is now becoming part of the software used to drive and control the CNC machines in an effort to improve their functionality and offer more features. 
But even if you're just using software to design your guitars, maybe you're drawing it up in Adobe Illustrator like I do, those software programs are built using AI and they also incorporate AI into their features. So if you're using modern digital technology, uh, even if it's just your cell phone somehow, you know, maybe you're using it to tune your guitar, you're taking advantage of artificial intelligence whether you realize it or not. So AI is there. In fact, there may be instances where AI is playing a role in how we build guitars that I'm not even aware of. Um, for example, it's possible that the companies that make the hand tools that you use are relying on artificial intelligence in some way to make the tools that they're selling you. I don't know. It's entirely possible. And let's not forget about the Plec machine. Everybody loves Plec machines. And I would imagine that artificial intelligence has probably played a role in either developing the software that the Plec machine uses, or perhaps it's built into the technology in order to enhance its features. I don't know if this for sure because I'm I'm not really familiar with the inner workings of how the Plec machine operates, but uh, given what it's capable of, I would be uh, I'd be very surprised if they haven't used artificial intelligence to some degree, or perhaps they're going to use it in the future. I don't know. At any rate, uh, I know that there are probably many other examples of how artificial intelligence might play a role in how we uh, design and build our guitars um, and many of these uh, possibilities I'm not aware of. I would love it if you guys would uh, comment down below your thoughts on this subject. Um, share with me how you think artificial intelligence might be affecting how we build guitars. Or maybe you know of ways that artificial intelligence could be used to improve how we build guitars. And maybe there's some concepts about designing and building guitars where artificial intelligence might make it easier or uh, improve our chances of success and might make the guitars that we build even better. I don't know. Post it down in the comment section below. It'd be an interesting conversation. Okay guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If so, please consider giving it a thumbs up. And as always, uh, you can do all the other things that I mentioned before. You can visit my eGuitar Plans web store, the Highland Guitars merch store. There's links in the description below. You can click the thanks button. You can click the join button so that you can watch videos just like this one, but with a lot more information and detail and no ads. At any rate, um, I hope that uh, you'll tune in for the next episode. In the meantime, take care and stay safe.